Hey, everybody. Welcome to another podcast. Today, we're talking with Mike Athis, who is the president, owner, founder of Aunt Jojo Spice or Aunt Jojo Spice, depending on where you live in the country. <laughs> Welcome, Mike. Excited to be here, Marcia. Thank you. You're welcome. So uh, today I wanted to talk to you because, uh, you know, people go on and they go online, they go to auntjojospice.com and they purchase some of the spice, which is delicious. Um, so let's, I wanted to talk to you about some of the different ways, some of the different recipes that people could use Aunt Jojo Spice for. Sure. Well, I have two that that jump out at me that that are, are on the site. Um, one is kind of not what you'd think it, it, not what you'd expect out of, out of a seafood spice or, or, or kind of a spicier spicier seasoning. Um, but I'm a huge fan, especially in the summer months when it's really warm out. Um, I, I love getting like chopped up watermelon and adding some really? feta cheese to watermelon? it. Yeah. Watermelon. Hear me out. Hear me out. You're you're gonna think this is a little bit crazy, but I promise it's delicious. So okay. chop chop up some watermelon, add some feta cheese to it, and then sprinkle some Aunt Jojo spice on top. And it's, oh my god, I'm intrigued. It's a simple thing, yeah. Interesting. We gotta come yeah. up with a name for that. We we need a good name for it, but at, right right now it's just watermelon feta and an Aunt Jojo. I spice. think we should call it. I think we should call it crazy watermelon. Crazy um, watermelon. We'll okay. It. Crazy watermelon. And I'll tell you why. So I was experimenting with on Jojo Spice um, two nights ago. And okay. there's a dish um, that's offered by a few uh, restaurants up in my area. I'm in Massachusetts. And they offer what's called crazy Alfredo. And that's what made me think of crazy watermelon. And I realized that so it has andouille sausage, it has um, roasted red peppers, it has chicken, um, and it has, you can order it um, at all the restaurants, a, a one to five on the heat level. I usually go about a three or a four. Right. And I realized when I was at the restaurant the other night that Ancho Joe Spice would be like the perfect way to season the crazy Alfredo. So I would yeah. say... Crazy watermelon would be a great way to um, to 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 hey. call that because it sounds crazy, but I I'm gonna try it. I'm telling you, it 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 sounds like it's the most absurd thing in the world, but that all the flavors actually end up going together and it's delicious. So once oh, you try I, it, you I can't wait to try it. Yeah, that's crazy. See, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, and 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 it's fun because you can. I mean, it could be a dessert. It could just be a side to the to the meal. It could be a lot of different things, wh whichever way you want to go with it. So I I, I love it. Well, I, I put another recipe for it then, okay. since it, it it's it's an avocado corn salad. Um, I usually um, will use a spice, you know, something spicy. I'm going to make it with Aunt Jojo spice. Um, so you do roasted corn, especially if you can do fresh corn and roast it on the grill take it off the cob, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of the Aunt Jojo spice, yeah. uh, grape tomatoes, red onion, cilantro, a little bit of lime, and then um, fresh sliced avocado. And every time I make that and I bring it to a cookout, barbecue, or a party, it is the first thing that is gone. It is so good. So I'm going to swap out what I was using and then put in the Aunt Jojo spice for that. Well, I, I love that. And, and, and to, to build off of that, my crab cake recipe is, is a similar type of a concept. So if you just Google like a typical crab cake and, and you get lump crab cake and we, we could sit here and talk about crab cakes all day long, right? Uh, how, how much breading do you put in versus no breading and, and, and how much lump crab meat versus all the other ingredients. One thing that I figured out with Aunt Jojo Spice is it already has a lot of the ingredients already built into it that you'd already put into to a crab spice or, or a crab cake recipe. Mm -hmm. And so when, when you look at my crab cake recipe on, on, on the website, it really simplifies things. And so you're not running around your kitchen trying to find a million different spices. It, you can just literally use the Aunt Jojo Spice in in uh, in, in the stead of, of, of a lot of other spices. So it adds a great flavor to it. Um, and, and as always, I'm, I'm always thinking, how do I crank it up to the next level? How, how do I make it even better? Um, when I make my Aunt Jojo Spice crab cakes, 
one thing that I will do on, on just to top it is in, in da down here where I live in Florida, I'm in Sarasota, Florida, stone crabs are huge, right? Like everyone loves stone crabs. It, 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 it's a constant uh, thing that, that, that we're thinking about when you go out to eat, it's always on the appetizer list um, and, and, and j people love them. I particularly like the seminal Florida stone crab mustard sauce. And so it, it, that, that's got an extra little flavor to it, extra little kick to it. So I just like to dip my crab cake in that seminal stone crab sauce. And, and I think together they, they work very nicely. So you get kind of that stone crab flavor that, that you'd expect out of a, a stone crab dish, but you also get the, the Maryland blue crab uh, flavors mm -hmm. coming from the jumbo lump crab cakes. So I, I highly recommend just use that anjojo spice instead of all the other spices and, and you'll be in good shape with it. I'm always starving after we do these podcasts. I'm always hungry. I'm like, I think, I think one of the times we did a podcast, I think that's when I came up with that chicken recipe that was so, the creamy chicken, I think I gave it on the last podcast. So I really see it working. Never would have thought of watermelon, but I see it working with a lot of pasta dishes. I see it working like I can almost see like a spicy mac and cheese where you could um, you know you could totally. blend it in yeah. um, the crazy Alfredo that I talked about it's basically an Alfredo sauce but then you season it with the ancho joe spice the roasted red peppers the andouille sausage the chicken um, some people put mushrooms in it I like I like it you know just plain without the mushrooms although I love mushrooms but yeah, um, you know, the corn salad, the roasted corn salad that I talked about, when you really think about how many different spices that you use, I found that when I am incorporating it into my recipes, that's the only spice I'm using. And it feels like the flavor profiles build off whatever you pair it with. So yeah. it's really a very versatile spice, very versatile. Well, I love it. Well, I, I hope the, these couple couple of recipes inspire some people to go out and try it. And uh, I, I always love he hearing what people are putting it on. So, so if people are out there listening to this, shoot shoot me a DM on Instagram or Facebook, and I'd, I'd love to hear what you're using it on as well. So yeah, absolutely. And my my husband laughs because whenever I go out to a restaurant or we go out and I have something in my mind, I'm always deconstructing what went into that dish. And I'm amazed at how many different recipes now I feel that I will swap out and integrate the Anjojo spice into. So what is the uh, web address where people can find you and place an order? Yeah, if you go to antjojospice.com, that, that's the best way to go go place an order. Um, so let's go to antjojospice.com. And then occasionally we do run promotions and, and sales and all that. And so I announce those sales on our Instagram handle, which is at antjojospice. So I, I highly recommend fo follow yeah, us. So on if you, um, yep. And if you're a, if you're a restaurateur or you're a home chef or you own a business that it would dovetail nicely and you'd like to feature on Jojo Spice in your business, definitely reach out to Mike at auntjojospice.com. All right. Thanks for joining in with another podcast. We're talking about Aunt Jojo Spice with Mike Athis, president, owner, um, developer, um, creator, you name it. He's, he's all over it. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with another podcast soon. Woo!